Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Today I'm going to do a little tech video about the differences between a center slipper clutch and a center differential. So uh, a lot of four wheel drive RC cars come with these things. So these actually sit in the middle of your vehicle, uh, send power from the motor to the front and rear wheels. And uh, some RC cars only come with one of these, like the slipper clutch is probably a little more common. Uh, race vehicles tend to come with a center differential, a little more common. And some vehicles like this Team Associated B74, you can run either. So they sell option parts for either uh, one that you want to run. So today I'm just going to explain what the differences are, what they actually do, how they work, and why you'd want to pick one over the other. So the first thing we'll talk about is the slipper clutch. Let's kind of zoom in here. So the slipper clutch... Uh, consists of this so a fairly simple device it's pretty much just a spur gear there this little plastic spur gear with teeth that connects to the pinion gear of your motor of course uh, it's got two slipper plates one on each side these are little aluminum pieces that press up against that and there's little friction pads or slipper pads those little white uh, pads there inside and they'll sit within this uh, spur gear itself and uh, press up against the slipper plates and then you've got a spring and usually like a nut or something pressing those plates against those slipper pads so basically it's applying tension to the slipper plates uh, so it kind of grips that spur gear there in the middle and then as the spur gear turns these little out drives turn and so when it's sitting in your actual vehicle the whole thing will turn and send power to these little dog bones and the dog bones will turn and send power to the wheels of course now, the very basics of a slipper clutch, the purpose of this thing is actually to protect the drivetrain. So if you're, you know, maybe at a full stop and you got a powerful motor, you can just yank that throttle really fast. It'll send instantaneous power to this slipper clutch and try to spin the spur gear and all these out drives all at the same time. But that puts a ton of stress on the drivetrain because the wheels are basically stopped. They're not moving and you're trying to go basically from zero to full speed, you know, instantaneously. So what this little device does is actually slip so that as that spur gear spins, the out drives won't spin as much or maybe they'll, they'll turn somewhat um, until that speed differential between the motor and the tires kind of catches up. And then this whole thing will start spinning again and kind of go. So the main purpose of a slipper clutch is basically to protect your drivetrain. Uh, so you, you can run what's called a locked slipper or a spool where basically there is no slipper and this thing always just turns by itself. But uh, for the most part, that's not going to drive quite as well. And this is generally preferable just to protect your drivetrain, especially in a more powerful vehicle. So uh, advantages of the slipper clutch is pretty simple. If you find that your wheels are slipping a little too easily, you can just tighten that nut crank it down and then put a little more tension and then it won't slip quite as much. Or if you you have what you feel like is kind of a locked slipper, then you can loosen this and basically get a little more slipper action. So it's very simple to adjust. It's also lighter weight generally for the most part. You know, this lot weighs probably seven, eight, nine grams less than the center differential in the B74. So for a stock class, for um, any sort of spec class where you're limited on power, you know, you get a little more acceleration with the slipper clutch because you're, you're not moving quite as much weight. So that's the slipper clutch and how that works. Um, we'll talk about the center differential now. So this is what a center differential looks like. It's very similar. You got the spur gear, you've got the out drives, and what's in the middle is basically a bunch of gears, some fluid that connects both out drives together. And what the center differential does is it's very simple, of course basically allows the out drives to turn at different speeds. So as you're normally driving, you know, this whole thing's turning, turning the out drives, turning the wheels front and rear, nothing going on there, but it can also allow them to spin at different rates. So uh, when you're driving an RC car, actually all four, let's say you're going straight and going around a corner, all four wheels actually turn at different speeds. So the front wheels, um, actually go a little bit wider out than the rear wheels and so the outer wheels also take a wider path than the inner wheel so going around a corner the outer wheel actually has to spin faster than the inner wheel that's why you have differentials in the front and the rear and then uh, the rear wheels the same thing the outside wheel will go a little bit 
wider than and travel a further distance and need to spin a little bit faster than the inner wheel. But the same thing with the front and back. So the front wheels actually have to travel a slightly further distance than the rear wheels. Like if you've ever seen a semi or a really long bus try to go around a corner, you'll notice that the the back wheels kind of cut the corner and the front wheels kind of go wide around the corner. So same thing in an RC car, the front wheels will actually travel further than the rear wheels. And that's why you have something like a standard differential. So when you're driving around the corner and you got this thing turning, if the front can actually spin a little bit faster than the rear, then that whole car will actually arc a little more evenly, a lot more smoothly around the corner than if you use like a lock differential or a slipper clutch. So that's the main advantage of a Citroen differential. The car will actually drive a little more smoothly around the corner. Um, a little, usually a little bit more steering as well. The locked or the slipper clutch um, in general, it kind of locks the front and rear a little bit more, a little bit more like an on off switch. It's either slipping or it's locked or it's actually tight and uh, going around the corner, but the front and rear wheels can't slip quite as much and as easily as using a standard differential. So for racing, that's why most people run a standard differential. The car will drive a little more smoothly, a little more uh, evenly around the corner. The other nice thing about a standard differential is you can tune that differential rate. So this is fluid filled with silicon oil and usually you're running somewhere between like 5K and maybe 100K uh, in this differential. So you can tune that diff action. You can have a little more locked feeling you know, by running a really high uh, diff oil weight or you can have it a lot more uh, free flowing and uh, put in a really lightweight. So it's tunable, although it is kind of a bit of a pain. You gotta remove these screws, move this drain the oil and change it. Uh, downside or other advantages of the center differential, it also uh, provides a little bit of wheelie control. So a lot of people think, well, the differential sends power to the wheels that have the most traction or least traction or whatever, and, and that's not actually true. What this actually does will bleed power off to the wheels with the least amount of traction. So a lot of people think, oh no, it's gonna send power here and there. It doesn't do, it doesn't really send power. What it does is bleeds power to one side. So if your rears have more traction, then uh, they'll, they'll stay a little more locked down and then the front will actually be spinning and uh, kind of sending more power to the front because they actually, let's say you're doing a wheelie, uh, the, the rears have more traction, the more power is actually gonna bleed off to the front because the side that has the least traction as actually uh, gets more power. So having a standard differential will actually um, kind of provide a little bit of wheelie control. So as it wheelies, it'll send more power to the front and less will be going to the rear. It's bleeding off to the front and then it'll kind of tend to set, set the wheels down a little bit more. As you lock this down more and more, put heavier and heavier wheels, uh, weight in the actual diff it'll lock off the wheels and so if you have a ton of power and you can just yank that throttle it'll just wheelie but it'll keep power on the on the rear wheels and keep wheeling um, your rc car without bleeding it to the front if you run really light oil in here it'll actually bleed power a lot more easily so as you start wheeling it'll instantaneously start bleeding more power off to the front and kind of set it down because the, the rear wheels aren't able to, to maintain that wheelie position so uh, it's also a form of wheelie control um, and then also, obviously, you know, as I mentioned, uh, the differential sends power to the front and rear differently. So the lighter the oil you have, the little more uh, easily and more nimble it'll kind of feel on the track, but may not have as much of a locked four-wheel drive uh, feeling. So uh, generally on really like looser conditions, people tend to run lighter fluids on really uh, high traction conditions, like especially AstroTurf or carpet. You run a heavier differential fluid um, just to kind of keep that four wheel drive action. Actually, it, what it, the reason people do that is actually to try to kind of numb down the RC car because if it's too fluid, it's too twitchy um, and too hard to drive, then uh, that's usually when you go up heavier in diff uh, fluid in the center differential. That's also the reason uh, people go to slippers on more of the uh, higher traction surfaces because they have so much steering, they have so much nimbleness, it's already so fluid. Actually uh, using a slipper will kind of tones it down. It also protects the drivetrain a little bit more because higher traction surfaces are gonna be harder on the drivetrain. That's one downside of the center differential. There's no give in this system at all. You're always gonna get full power somewhere, so it's either sending it to the front or it's sending it to the rear, but it's never just kind of releasing it like it does in the slipper. And, and the slipper would actually give that power, just gets uh, diluted, basically, you know, gets 
uh, released into the friction here on the pads and so that that spur might be turning but the out drives might not they'll just be slipping so anyways that's pretty much it center differential versus uh, slippers for the most part slippers are a lot more common in bashers um, they're simpler easier to use light lighter weight and protect your drivetrain center differentials generally are more for race vehicles um, a lot more tunable uh, you know the, they'll make the car drive a little more fluid around the track so that's why you might want to pick up a center differential so anyways that's it for my uh explanation on the center diff versus a slipper clutch i uh, hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe hit the notifications button and look for more videos soon thanks for watching